Hi guys, it's Lynn here. Hope everyone is having a blooming beautiful day. Now today guys, I'm very excited because I have not one, but two Echinopsis blooming beauties in flower to share with you today. And to wake up here and go into the polytunnel and see two beautiful, huge, white, heavily scented blooms on two of our different types of Echinopsis cacti is just amazing this morning, guys. And just look at that. I have one here and one here. And I'm not kidding you guys, if you could smell the scent in this polytunnel this morning, you will be blown away. It is the most incredible scent, almost a bit jasmine-like. It is really, really beautiful. And we're very excited because we have these two Echinopsis in flower. And this one here is the first time flowering for us. This is Echinopsis cardamensiana. And not only has it, has it three more buds on the go, but it has this beautiful bloom that has opened today. And guys, just look at that. Isn't it absolutely gorgeous? Heavily scented. And it is just so, so beautiful. Loads of multi-white petals. Really pretty with a heavenly scent. And right inside the middle is a lovely lime green colour and lovely yellow pollen and a lovely sort of golden coloured stigma right in the middle of that absolutely beautiful and the outer petals of this one also sort of like a, a very palely yellowy sort of goldeny colour going all the way underneath and what's quite amazing about Echinopsis cactus flowers is they have these hair and it is black hair and it actually does feel just like human hair almost like animal hair like soft fur absolutely incredible and this Echinopsis as I say this one is Echinopsis cardamensiana it's one that we bought about a year and a half ago from an online um, cactus nursery called Cactine Hog and we're very happy it never flowered last year but it was our first year for us to have this plant and it's flowered this year and as you can see lots more buds are on the way so beautiful and just look at all them hairs guys black black furry hair it's incredible incredible how these plants produce these and just look at that for a bloom now echinopsis flowers usually only last a day at the most so they're a bit of a one-nighter because they open up of a night time last night we got here and the bud was starting to, to open and now it's fully open and as the day goes on it will eventually close and going to be cross-pollinating this one with the other one i'm going to show you now and successfully cross-pollinated echinopsis flowers in the past and always produce seeds so that's going to be fun I'm not going to film when I do the video because I've done it many many times but um, you never know I might film it <laughs> but um, if not I'll put a link on to when I've pollinated cross-pollinated Echinopsis flowers before and it's always been very successful so I don't need to do the video again but um, isn't that just beautiful and that's Echinopsis cardamensiana and then I'm going to show you this beauty this is Echinopsis subdenudata and as I say, the flower is very similar in appearance. It's not, uh, the, it's yellow in the middle. With, it has a bit of a lime green in, in the bottom, but a more yellowy golden color than the other one. And the petals are slightly more narrower as well. Um, slightly different, I'll just show you the difference because they look similar at first glance. This one has more of a, a lime green in the middle and wider petals. And this one here has more sharper, sort of narrower pointed petals. Absolutely beautiful. And it's strange because sometimes the subdenudatas are heavily scented and sometimes that does have a nice scent to it, but not as strong as the cardamensiana, cardamensiana um, echinopsis. But this is beautiful. But we have others, um, other subdenudatas here. These one here, no signs of buds yet. This one also is haunted all in bud. And these are often quite heavily scented. So it's, it's amazing how they all sort of vary. But again, lovely hairy buds, <laughs> lovely hairy flower stem here with a beautiful, beautiful flower. And as I say, I'm gonna be cross pollinating these two because they're both flowering today to get seeds. So absolutely beautiful. And um, the subdenudata, Echinopsis subdenudata, which is this one here, also this one, as you can see, it's very spotty. It's a beautiful cactus, even when not in flower, because it's very aesthetically beautiful with all the different little spots. It's also nicknamed the sea urchin cactus and the domino cactus, because obviously its little spots um, resemble like a sea urchin creature, and also the little spots resemble sort of dominoes. <laughs> so it's quite a few in our collection, different types of the little sea urchin cacti. 
and um, also different types of echinopsis. Look at this. We have a lot more in bud as well. There's a lovely big furry bud there and this other other echinopsis here. And um, <clears throat> look at this. This is the first time flowering for us as well. This is another echinopsis that I bought from a, a thrift charity shop quite a few years ago when I lived on the, the west coast of Ireland. And it's the first time flowering for me because I've never had an ID for it other than just echinopsis. And there are, echinopsis is a massive genus. There's so many different types and many hybrids. It can be very exciting when these flowers I might be able to ID it. I have no idea what colour it's going to be. Um, so it's going to be very exciting to see that. So as you can see, lots of buds on the way and lots of my other cacti as well astrophytum there coming into bud um, so it's going to be very exciting this is also first time flowering for me too this is an echinopsis and uh, first time flowering so it's going to be good interesting to see what this one is going to be as well the colour and uh, this is my other echinopsis mamilo so that was flowering a few, few weeks ago and it's forming a seed pod as you can see I pollinated that with a little brush we've had lots of bees in the polytunnel so a lot of the time it can be that the bees are pollinating it which is which is very common but I give it a helping hand as well by using a little soft brush just to get a seed there as you can see seed pod forming fingers crossed that that uh, carries on but I wanted to share with you the beauty and because they're both flowering together today rather than do two separate videos it's good to show you them both blooming beautiful in the polytunnel today and I want to share the beauty with you all. And Echinopsis is a very, very easy cacti to grow for beginners. Um, as long as you can give them a cool, dry winter rest period um, and also um, give them a very sunny position, especially in the spring and summer and early fall. You, you should be blessed pretty much with blooms. And they're like obviously a well-draining, well-draining cactus soil. But I've made a video, I'm going to be made, well I have made a video, it's going to be up probably in the next, probably the next few days on uh, five easy cacti to grow for beginners and I mention Echinopsis and I mention other ones that I recommend are very good if you're new to growing cacti. So do stay tuned for that video. And if you want to know a little bit more about how to grow cacti and succulents, then pl please do check out my website if you're new to growing these plants, desertplantsofavalon.com. And if you go onto the growing tips, hover your mouse over. Over that, there'll be drop down bar with lots of different sections on how to care for these amazing, beautiful plants. So guys, thank you so much for watching all your support. I want to send you loads of love heaps of happiness and tons and tons of flower and cactus and plant power from across the emerald isle and until the next video bye